and welcome back to the hot lap for our driver tier list for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Yep, who gambled, who won, who lost, who bet on the house, who's coming away with quite the trophy collection. And was it all worth it? Well, I thought the Las Vegas Grand Prix was actually quite good, if I'm fair. But I think this is almost in alphabetical order. As I can see there, and it's Alex Albon is going to be the first victim of our, well, tier list. So, Alex Albon, he qualified, to be fair, he qualified sixth. He did. He did really, really well. Sadly, though, in the race, Alex Albon didn't finish sixth. He finished uh, 12th outside the points, like 43, over 43 seconds off the points. But I still think a... Should we go with a B, a solid B for Alex Albon? Now, Fernando Alonso. Well, Fernando, you finished ninth. So you finished in the points, okay? Nice one. On qualifying, you finished, uh, sorry, you qualified 10th, so to speak. So solid-ish. However, I felt it could have been much, much better because that pace of the Aston Martin wasn't bad at all and Lance Stroll ended up doing better than him in the race because Alonso Alonso spun so for Alonso standards I think a bit of like a high C not really a fail but not really that good at all if I'm honest which is slightly a bit disappointing but uh, Sergio, no, I was going to go Valtteri Bottas. Yes, how did Valtteri Bottas do? Well, he qualified in the top 10. Amazing qualifying. But then come the race, and I think it's to do more with the tyres, etc. Why he kind of struggled, he fell way, way back. Um, I'm trying to look at the race results now to see where he is, and I'm struggling to even find him. The race results are uh, Valtteri Bottas. Yes, yeah, 17th. He's last. Nope. He's getting a, I think because of qualifying, he, I can't give him a D, but he's getting a C. Oh, Bottas. Um, average, averageness there. Back to his Mercedes days. Um, good qualifying, goes back in the race. Next up is Pierre Gasly. So, good old Pierre Gasly. He qualified uh, better than Ocon. He qualified, well, he qualified fifth, started fourth on that second row. Absolutely fantastic and not bad at all. However, the race result where Ocon finished fourth, Pierre Gassi had a bit of a mare and finished 11th. So I'm going to give you, because of qualifying on that second row, a B. But um, in terms of the car, you went more back, I think, than Alex Albon even did. I appreciate the safety car. May have not been your friend, but there we go. Next up, Lewis Hamilton could not get into Q3, qualified 11th, started 10th, had an absolute mare, but I don't think any of it was his was his fault. Yes, qualifying was, but then I think he did a fairly solid comeback uh, despite the fact all that happened. He ended up finishing 7th despite going towards the back on two or on two on two occasions and having that puncture. So, Hamilton, you are getting a high, you're getting a high B there, ahead of both Gasly and Albon. Well done, Sir Lewis Hamilton. Solid job, if not amazing, because we can't really forget about that qualifying, can we? Next up, we have Hulkenberg. Yes, the Hulk. So, he qualified 13th. Yeah, a bit meh, really. And in the race, he ended up retiring. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess you're getting a C. I thought Hulkenberg would do a lot better. Bear in mind that Haas, uh, especially on the one lap pace and in qualifying, is fairly solid with that tyre warm-up. Sadly, no. Charles Leclerc. Now, man of the race, yes. Made that mistake, yes, against Sergio Perez. But I don't think he could have done anything more. And he, and he basically, oop, as my phone goes, he basically got Perez on the last lap. We are talking S-class levels of awesomeness there for Leclerc. Uh, the win was there. The safety car was not his friend. I don't think Ferrari done anything wrong on the strategy. Um, on pole, he lost the pole, but I think that was a really aggressive move by Max Verstappen. So Leclerc getting our, getting our S there. Next up, we've got Kevin Magnussen. So in the race, he finished 13th. And uh, in qualifying, he qualified 9th. So I felt overall he did 
better than his compatriot. He's doing good, isn't he? He's getting a low, I'm putting him up there in the in I'm putting him up there in the bees. Better than Gasly. Is Kevin Magnussen fairly, fairly solid? Lando Norris, uh yeah, he gets a I think he gets a D because he kind of lost it on that on that turn. We may well find that it wasn't his fault, but then he had an absolute shocker of a qualifying, didn't he? I mean, let's see, he qualified 16th. I mean, he had qualified Piastri, but 16th for Lando Norris. Absolutely terrible there. Next up, Esteban Ocon, who qualified 17th, but in terms of the race, he finished fourth. So Ocon, you are you're you're getting you're you're getting a B there in between Hamilton and Albon. Absolutely Louis brilliant. I can't I can't say absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Esteban Ocon. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you there. Next up, Sergio Perez. Well, I mean, he was one of our losers of the race, if you look at our race review. I still think he was fairly, fairly solid coming through the field, but I can't help. The win was there, Perez. The win was there for you to take, but you didn't. So you're getting a B there because um, I, in terms of Hamilton, I think Hamilton did... Uh, really, really well considering what happened in the race. Perez did as well, but you threw. The, I, I, I can't help but feel you threw a potential victory away and a potential second place away. Yes, you did get second, which we forgot to mention in our race review in the uh, drivers' world championship. But with two races still to go and a massive gap to Verstappen, I don't think that's something to really celebrate when you've had one of the one of the most dominant cars ever in Formula One. But I do a solid a solid job from Paris there. Next up, yes, oh, Piastri. What a solid race he did. I mean, he qualified really at the back, didn't he? On the back row was Oscar Piastri in nineteenth, but he ended up finishing tenth in the points and getting that fastest lap. Oscar Piastri, you're uh, you are getting a. Oh, yeah, I would put him equal with Hamilton if I can. But yeah, you're equal with Hamilton there on the Bs. Brilliant, brilliant Oscar Piastri. Daniel Ricciardo. Okay, Danny, Danny Rick, you out qualified your teammate. You got into just about Q2. And that's where it ended. And you ended up finishing. Yes, your teammate retired, but you were ahead of your teammate. 14th. Um, he's kind of like at the back of the... I think he did better than Gasly and Hulk. There we go. He's 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 kind of like loads of bees this time, aren't they? He's on he's on the bees. He did about as good, I think, as he could have done, but wasn't setting the world alight. George Russell. I still feel that he shouldn't have got that penalty. Finish eighth, but he was fourth on the road. He awesome qualifying as well. I still don't think that was entirely his fault. Racing incident. I think you're getting a high B there, George. Um, yeah. Uh, there we go. Moving on. Carlos Sainz, really, really sad. He uh, qualified, he qualified, what, 12th? Um, not his fault. Should have qualified on the front row. Would have potentially been a completely different different race. And he ended up finishing sixth on the road there as well as part uh, in the race. Not not bad, not bad. I'm giving you, I'm giving you a B again. Um, I mean, yeah. Not fourth on the road, but not too bad. But I can't help but feel maybe he should have done a bit more because that was some really solid pace by Leclerc, and he wasn't—he was a few tenths behind. So I still can't help when you look at what I think Hamilton did coming back. No, he's finishing behind Hamilton and Piastri and Piastri, I think, because I'm now convincing myself. Um, load at half the grid of bees this time. Yeah, I, I can't help but feel he probably should have done a bit better. Um, and he made actually. I'm remind he's just he's just been demoted again behind he made that first corner um error um when he knocked Hamilton and spun causing more work for himself yeah he's he's he's, he's the lowest of the, he's better than Gasly and Hulk better than Rick he's between Ricardo and Albon I think in the bees there we go took a while I was so indecisive I apologize Ga um Mr Sergeant so what a Absolutely fantastic qualifying. Best qualifying for Williams in a number of years. Qualifying, what, seventh on the fourth, just, you know, on the fourth row. Absolutely brilliant. In the race, you went back, but 
And here's, here's, here's the but. He wasn't really that. It was only seven seconds away from Albon. So I think, yeah, you're up there in between Albon and, and Carlos Sainz in the Bs again. I think you did a tremendous job. Lance Stroll. Okay, five place grid penalty for silly, silly, silly Stroll. Uh, ignoring yellow flags. Whoops and daisy. Um, that and I mean, he did qualify. Well, let's see. Where did Stroll qualify? He qualified 14th in qualifying, but then he started further back. I think in 19th in the end. But uh, in the race, you finished four. You finished fifth. Sorry, um, after Russell's penalty. Solid job. Uh, but you ignored the flags. I'm going to put you between. I'm going to put. I'm going to put you there because once again, qualifying was a bit meh. Uh, that was a silly five second penalty to get for that for that double wave yellows. But you did a solid job. Hard, most of the grid is on is on bees, aren't they? Absolutely. So. B is the, I think B, B is the name. B, B is the letter of the day. Next up, we've got Sednoda at qualified by Ricardo. Didn't really feature in the race. C. Next up is Verstappen. I think an A, because I, I, I can't help but feel, yes, he did have the fastest car. Just with Leclerc. He did that controversial first corner move with Leclerc, which I think is more than a mistake, really, and then didn't want to give the place back, was a bit cheeky, was really down at the Las Vegas Grand Prix anyway, um, but then obviously liked the track, but a solid job, another win for Max Verstappen. I, 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 I felt that, yeah, he once he got the lead, the grading on his tyres, where Leclerc obviously looked after his tyres a bit better, and I think Leclerc, given the fact that his car may have been a tiny step slower, then the Red Bulls did a better job than Verstappen. That's not to take away the fact that Verstappen won. He had a dodgy, you know, a damaged car as well, and he still won. Amazing job, but I think Leclerc gets it for getting that pole and, uh, well, basically being a victim of that start. Well done, but well done Verstappen as well. Absolutely solid job. The last but not least is Zhao who did not qualify very well at all, did he? He ended up qualifying what, um, 18th, and he ended up finishing, uh, well, let me see here, 15th. So he beat, by, he beat Bottas, but he didn't qualify very well. So he's top of the seas there for Zhao. So that is your driver tier list um, for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. If you liked it, like and subscribe. I'm so sorry, I was so indecisive. Pretty much most of the grid given Bs, because I felt everyone did a solid job. Um, the promoters ended up doing a solid job on the Sunday, very controversial on the Friday, with uh, rumours of that, you know, a £1,000 potential seats and giving a £200 voucher. What is that about? Hopefully we'll talk about that in our Fallout review for the Las Vegas Grand Prix tomorrow. That'll be Monday, uh, Monday or Tuesday, when we end up recording it, late Monday night, I'd imagine. But thank you very much. If you liked, subscribed, done any of that you're a world champion done any of that and more done two of them you know it's gonna you're gonna be a multiple world champion we'll speak to you next time thank you very much